Because when I was talking about, what was it? Let's do some historic side. I was like, wait, doesn't it laterally rotate? And no, it doesn't. So the tissimus dorsi grabs right on the inside of your humerus here, and when you pull it, it immediately rotates a little bit. You've got a whole bunch of other muscles around your rotator cuff, that, or that make your rotator cuff, all supporting this joint. So um, if we, we already talked about the scapula and its markings. We said this was the spine of the scapula back here. This is the supraspinous fossa. So the supraspinatus muscle is the muscle that resides in it. And that muscle is the one that initiates arm abduction. So it's a synergist with deltoid for arm abduction. Infraspinatus is below the spine of the scapula. So infraspinatus sits here and it rotates and adducts the arm. Teres minor is easier to see on a picture. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna be able to really point it out on this muscle. Teres minor is, or on the skeleton, is this one that goes here kind of from this um, posterior uh, superior aspect of the humerus to this uh, angle of your scapula, the lateral angle of your scapula. So um, that's another one of the rotator cuff. And then our, our last one is subscapularis. And subscapularis actually sits under here in the subscapular fossa. And so there's a nice big muscle there between your scapula and uh, your ribs. Um, and so that's another part. It's also going to help with rotation of the arm. So let's look at all of these. Subscapularis, it originates in the subscapular fossa, again, which is right here. And it inserts on the lesser tubercle of the humerus. And it is the chief medial rotator. So if you imagine, it's sitting on, um, it's inserting on the humerus here, and it's sitting right here in your shoulder, basically. And when it pulls, it's going to help medially rotate your humerus. Um, for supraspinatus, this is gonna be the one, again, that initiates arm ab abduction. So, and it's going to work with deltoid. So we'll start arm abduction right here, and then deltoid will help, and it's, deltoid's the prime mover. So supraspinatus is the synergist. For infraspinatus, this is going to be the one, it sits here in your um, infraspinous fossa, and it's the lateral rotator. So it inserts over here on your humerus, and when it pulls, it pulls you laterally. Teres minor is going to be a synergist with infraspinatus, and that's all you have to worry about for your rotator cuff. So for teres minor and infraspinatus, you can say laterally rotates arm. For sub subscapularis, medially rotates arm. Uh, supraspinatus is the initiator of arm abduction. Okay? So those are muscles of our rotator cuff and where they sit on the scapula. So I'm still going to have us do our meditation because some people say that it helps them relax and they find that they don't relax well before class if they don't do it. And I'm high strung and high energy and you're probably all freaking out and stressed out so let's just breathe. And we'll do each of the rotator cuff muscles twice. Breathe in, subscapularis. Breathe out, medially rotates arm. Breathe in, subscapularis. Breathe out, medially rotates arm. Breathe in, supraspinatus. Breathe out, initiates arm abduction. Breathe in, supraspinatus. Breathe out, initiates arm abduction. Breathe in, infraspinatus. Breathe out, laterally rotates arm. Breathe in, infraspinatus. Breathe out, laterally rotates arm. Breathe in, teres minor. Breathe out, laterally rotates arm. Breathe in, teres minor. Breathe out, laterally rotates arm. And breathe in, and breathe out, and come back to class.